Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Um, so just a little update about the LG X Charge on Sprint. This is kind of funny. This is where Sprint's been a little sloppy. A little sloppy, we can say. So there's an issue going on for those people who are on Sprint. So not Boost Mobile, not Virgin Mobile, Sprint. Sprint Postpaid. Uh, those people, customers who went and bought the LG X Charge may have noticed something pretty sloppy about it. And that's uh, when you first boot it on, it actually displays the Boost Mobile splash screen and as um, the apps are branded around Boost Mobile. So Sprint is well aware of this issue. So I'm, I'm actually doing this quick video to kind of let you guys know what you guys can do because, you know, you don't want to look silly talking about you have Sprint. And, well, for some people may laugh at that because it may say that you are silly for having Sprint, but, you know, that's opinions. But you don't want to be like, I have Sprint, and then your phone splash screen shows Boost Mobile. So um, apparently the fix for it is that normally after the first initial boot, your phone is set up and everything and the apps start updating, they will update accordingly. So like instead of it having the My Boost app, it'll have the My Sprint app. Um, and like, you know, Boost TV will flop to like Sprint TV or whatever. But if that doesn't happen, there's supposedly a fix for it. That's you open up your dialer and you dial pound pound which is the hashtag for this generation it's the hashtag symbol but pound pound b r a n d pound and that's supposed to actually flip it from boost mobile to sprint so um, i haven't tried it because i don't have an lg x charge on sprint so but i just kind of wanted to put that out there for those people who are interested who got the lg x charge on sprint and they're like, what the hell? This is supposed to be a Sprint phone. Why does it say Boost Mobile? Uh, Sprint's well aware of that. Um, they didn't relay a reason why it, it happened that way. But I just kind of wanted to throw a quick video to help you guys out on how to get the branding correct. So you guys are not like having to go back to the Sprint store, stand in line for like an hour waiting to talk to somebody that's going to tell you the same thing. So um, if you're YouTubing it and you find this video, cool beans. Uh, let me know in the comment section if it worked for you. Uh, for those people that got the X charge on Boost Mobile, and you're asking, will this work for Boost Mobile? It's not gonna flip it to make it look like it's a Sprint phone. Okay, this is just to co you know to correct the branding, especially after the phone's been activated and the provisioning has been done to the phone. It pretty much knows if it's on Boost Mobile or Sprint. So, um, but yeah, again, that code, and I'll put it in the description. The code you dial to get the branding correct, and. Man, Sprint is so sloppy on that. Um, for those people that's wondering about the merger, so far, both sides have come to a deal. Now it's just uh, time to figure out the percentage of ownership between SoftBank and Deutsche Telekom. Um, that's the only thing I can really tell you guys right now about that. It's uh, not, to me, I'll tell you guys my opinion, it's not a done deal until they announce it. So for those people that's like, you know, they said this before, but how do we know they're really merging? Let's just look at it like they're not merging until they go public and they say that, you know, we're merging Sprint and T-Mobile. Then, then you can say, okay, it's for real this time. So, I mean, that's just my opinion and that's just my rule of thumb. I know I bring you guys uh, news and info about what's going on with it, but that's just pretty much where it is right now. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.